don't know if you guys can tell by my accent, but I am a white lady. It's so thick right now. I don't know. People hate us. I get it. <laughs> we hate ourselves, so if that makes you feel better. I'm trying not to be offensive, which is hard, because that's kind of our brand. Um, like, over the holidays, I was at a bowling alley, and there was this fat kid that lost his shoes. And the manager was like, do you know which kid it was? And I didn't want to say the fat one, right? Because it's just mean. So I was just like, oh, I think it was that voluptuous boy over there. The one with the tits. Um, so I think I did it. So close. Um, but I do love, I love saying that word narrative. I like throwing that into a conversation. Or gaslighting. Oh my God, ladies, how fun is it to use gaslighting? I do it wherever. They're like, Sarah, you're late. I'm like, stop gaslighting me. <laughs> but I like narrative. Like, It's an old word, but people use it a lot these days where they're like, that's not my narrative, that's your narrative. Or that's a false narrative. Like I was at Starbucks and they were like, ma'am, your latte is 519. I was like, that's not my narrative. <laughs> I think that's your narrative. <laughs> I do like how when you go into a Starbucks, everybody's working on their dreams, but when you walk into a Dunkin' Donuts, no one's doing anything in there. <laughs> Have you seen anybody work on anything in a Dunkin' Donuts before? No. They're all sleeping. <laughs> like, is this a heroin den? What is this? I was like, you guys should become a bus station. This is a shithole in here. So depressing. I saw a guy walk into a job interview with a Frappuccino once. I'm like, good luck, buddy. <laughs> what a great way to tell your employer that you're responsible, like starting your day off with a milkshake. <laughs> like, okay. It had extra drizzle on it. Just to like hit it home. I was like, that's not the appropriate beverage to bring into a job interview. I feel like you could do, you should come in with a mug with coffee in it. Like, what a great way to project that you work there already. <laughs> like, oh, did you guys call? Um, <laughs> I have CEO on the mug. They're like, where do you see yourself in five years? You're like, it says it on the mug. <laughs> you just have to project. Yeah. But I, I am, I'm turning 42 soon. Um, I'm bummed about that. Um, it's great. I'm glad you guys didn't clap. A lot of people do. It's weird. People sometimes clap when you tell them that you're in your 40s, like you've been serving your country. Um, they're like, okay, yeah, I'll take it. That sounds great. Um, but I've been trying to stay younger, so I've just been overdrafting my bank account a whole bunch. God, I feel like I'm in my 20s again, you know? It's so good. But now I'm at that age, though, where I have finally have accepted my body and then my body's like, I think we're gonna go in another direction. <laughs> I'm like, oh, can we talk about this? <laughs> I only now just got used to the pooch. And it's like, yeah, but now we're gonna add hair to places. So, <laughs> so I can't wait to get used to that. Um, I think if I just let myself go, I could just naturally turn into a man, <laughs> which I'm fine with, because I kind of need the money right now. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I need a raise. <laughs> no, but I do, I have hair on my chin. Um, I like it. <laughs> I feel like it makes me look wise when I play with it. I'm just like, hmm. Yes, yes, definitely. I would definitely Brexit. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what that means. I just say it to sound smart. Um, I don't know, do you guys Brexit? Oh no, oh, there it goes. Um, we spill drinks, that's fine. No, don't worry. It's all right, we'll just dub this. Um, <laughs> I like, it's a happy accident, right? Like Bob Ross. Wasn't he great? <laughs> I wish he was here right now. <laughs> it would be weird if he was, because he's dead. Um, but that would be a great ghost. Um, where was I? Oh, I was killing it. That's where I was. Uh, 
That's what I was doing. Oh, I was trying to look good for you guys earlier. Like, I was trying to pluck one of my chin hairs out. And I like how when I try to tweeze one of my chin hairs and it doesn't come out, and then I just end up curling it like a ribbon. <laughs> I'm like, oh, how pretty. <laughs> now I'm going to have to do the rest like this. Uh, not a look I was going for, but yeah, sure, I'll take a full bush on my chin. Always wanted to match my crotch, so that's good. You know? I don't know. I do have a full bush. I like to disclose that um, to you guys. Um, don't worry, it's taped down. So I feel like you guys are looking at my crotch right now. Um, I don't know. Did you guys hear that it's making a comeback? Did you guys know that? Yeah, because I'm starting that rumor. Um, <laughs> Like, I do it wherever I can. Like, I'll just go to cocktail parties, and I'm like, oh my God, did you guys read that article about the full bush making a comeback? And then I'll just leave. <laughs> They're like, who was that lady? I'm like, why wasn't she wearing pants? That was so crazy. But I do think it's hard to be a lady, right, ladies? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure it's hard to be a guy. I don't know. It is hard? Yeah. It is, I don't know. I know for me, I'm always worried about getting murdered. Do you worry about that? Yeah. I don't know. Guys, do you worry about get, murdering people? Like, that's pretty hard too. That's so much work. I don't have the work ethic for a serial killer, so I'm very impressed. Because I think as we watch a lot of true crimes, that's, why, that's one reason why I feel like we always worry about getting murdered, and also because you guys murder us. And <laughs> Like, I remember in my 20s, I would be like, oh my God, I think that guy wants to fuck me. But now in my 40s, I'm like, oh my God, I think that guy wants to murder me. <laughs> Doesn't that feel just as self-centered? <laughs> my friends are like, Sarah, he does not want to murder you. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm giving off that vibe. <laughs> I like how when you first date a guy, he's like, hey, text me when you get home so I know that you made it safely. Where I'm like, oh, that's not gonna do anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, I'm in the trunk of a car. <laughs> mm, try to find me. <laughs> they never came looking for me, so that's how you know they're not the one. Uh, just a tip I'm trying to write into Cosmo with <sighs> right now. But yeah, it is hard, I don't know. We're always dieting, I think that sucks. Like I'm doing that keto diet right now. Do you guys know about that diet? Yeah, it's like the new eating disorder. <laughs> right? It's where you don't eat any sugar or carbs, you just eat meat and then drink heavy cream all the time. So I'll probably be dead in a few weeks, um, but I'm gonna look so good. <laughs> I just read somewhere, though, that one of the side effects from that diet is that it can make your vagina smell. I know. Can you smell it right now? Is it bad? <laughs> I thought so. I thought I had a handle on it. <laughs> That's why every now and then I just eat a pizza just to keep it fresh down there. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is for my pussy, so... Doctor says I have to. It's really important. <laughs> I don't know. But I do, I do, I do worry about my looks. I guess I'm vain. I got a haircut. I got bangs because I can't afford Botox. Um, <laughs> so I just look like a tired baby. Um, <laughs> I like getting my haircut. This is my favorite thing to do when I get a haircut. I try to find the nastiest photo I can find in porn and act completely oblivious that there's a horrible blowjob scene going on. <laughs> and then I just take it to my hairdresser. <laughs> I'm like, I really like her haircut in this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you guys can make me look like her? <laughs> Mine is a dick in her mouth, but I like her hair. She looks great. Um, <laughs> so fun, that's a good one. No, it's hard though. I, that one was dirty. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. Sometimes God just speaks through me and he 
just gives me these jokes. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> this one's dirty. He helped with this one as well. I'm just, I'm going through a weird phase right now. It's crazy. Like, I have a friend that just told me he's trying to quit eating ass. <laughs> I know, isn't that, I'm like, that's what we're doing. <laughs> I'm like, but also at the same time, I'm like, is it really a problem? Like, is it tearing your family apart right now? <laughs> so just keep doing it. <laughs> Although I do feel like quitting eating ass has gotta be one of the easiest habits to quit cold turkey. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like you're presented with it at all times. <laughs> you're not like, oh no, I can't. <laughs> Oh no, another office birthday party. <laughs> You're like, oh wait, I'm all right. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Such a bad person. <laughs> oh, it's gross. Anybody eating ass in here? Oh, just one guy. <laughs> Good for you. No shame. Good for you. I feel like we're the only animals in the animal kingdom doing that right now. It's wild. I read this other article about these monkeys getting kicked out for 69ing all the time. I like that it said kicked out, where they're like, out. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That makes me laugh so hard, because it doesn't that just sound like a George Costanza plan to get out of the zoo? like these monkeys were like god this sucks here and then one monkey's like i know what we can do <laughs> why don't we eat each other out in front of the kids <laughs> <laughs> they're so intelligent that is so smart of them i wouldn't have come up with that plan but that's great I'm so impressed I had a friend that tell, told me that every time she goes to the zoo and she goes to the baboon exhibit, there's always one baboon that is constantly masturbating. I know, when she told me this, I was like, ugh, I get it, you're good looking. <laughs> you don't have to waste my time with the masturbating baboon story to let me know how hot you are. I never get a masturbating baboon when I go to that zoo. <laughs> I even put on my sexiest dress. I'm like, Mr. Monkey. Just leaning in. I'm like, come on, masturbate. <laughs> Mama needs this. <laughs> he just signs back, I have a headache. <laughs> I'm like, what? That's so, they're so smart. That's so impressive. So I was watching football recently when it was on and it was a season, this, when I wrote the joke. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna even change it for another sport. <laughs> but I was watching a game with one of my friends and one of the players scored a touchdown and he thanked God afterwards. And my friend got so offended because he was like, you know, God has better things to do than help some guy score a touchdown right, right now. But then I thought about it, I was like, I don't know, maybe football is like God's social media. <laughs> like, I know when I have a lot of important shit that needs to get done, that is when I'm on Instagram and Twitter the most, just procrastinating. <laughs> maybe God's like, oh, I know there's so much stuff to take care of in China right now. I'm just gonna help this guy score a touchdown for five minutes. <laughs> Then eight hours later, he's like, shit. Oh my God, things got really out of hand. <laughs> There's a flu going. <laughs> I thought it would go on its own, but... I, uh, <laughs> he's like, all right, I'll just get to it Monday. <laughs> and then he's like, oh my God, Monday Night Football. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> No, but religion's weird. I always notice that, have you ever noticed that Jesus shows up in the saddest objects? <laughs> like in burnt toast? <laughs> or like a sweat stain? <laughs> Never in like caviar or something, or something fancy. It's just Jesus kind of trying to find a portal and he's, he can't, because he's, he's kind of dumb maybe. <laughs> He's like, 
and you're like, that's toast, Jesus, you're so close to the hole. Like, <laughs> you're like, oh my God, you're so close. <laughs> He's like, how about now? <laughs> you're like, no, that's a sweat stain. <laughs> I love picturing Jesus as kind of dumb, but lovable. <laughs> it kind of makes sense. He's like the ultimate CEO's son. <laughs> You're like, all right. <laughs> oh, but this has been really fun. I'm going to um, finish here. And this is my dismount. Are you guys ready? <laughs> I'm so excited. I was Q-tipping my ears the other night, and I was like, oh my God, this feels so good. <laughs> like, have you ever, it feels so fucking good that for a brief moment, I was like, I wish I could switch out my ear hole with my pussy hole. <laughs> like, I just feel like I could probably come a lot faster that way, like. Have you ever Q-tipped your ear? It feels like you have little clits in there. And I can get it like 100% of the time. <laughs> We're like down here, I have to be in a mood. It's like a, it's like a stripped screw down there. Like, <laughs> I'm like, it's not working. <laughs> like, so I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna make so much money <laughs> on Instagram. And then I'm fine with taking my pussy hole and then moving it to where my ears are. <laughs> if that's the trade-off. And I think that could help you guys out a lot more if we did that. That way you know if we're really into you <laughs> in the conversation, then our ears start just getting really wet. We're like, oh my God, go on about your day. <laughs> and then if we hate you, they just dry up. So. All right, guys, I did it. Thank you. <laughs>